I'll get in trouble with my colleagues. I start the localization, means I already started all the laser, the, the lidars, the radars and the stereo video camera here. Now I'm checking if I get uh, the right information coming from, from the lines from the road. Let that drive slowly. Okay, and now I'm starting the kind of control unit. Okay, can you see this light here? Mm -hmm. Okay, the purple one. Good. Right now it's telling me if I want. I can hand over control to the vehicle. And I just do that by pulling that one, the handle. And now we are driving on highly automated models. We are approaching the crossing now. Okay. We wait. We have stop signed. There is someone else coming, mm -hmm. quite fast, we don't like it, okay, we'll wait. And now, okay, excuse me, let's just, they're driving fast too, okay, go ahead, now. There are some of them coming too fast and even if the car can handle with that, I'm just like taking care of your safety. So, we will go for two rounds, the first one, we will simulate a kind of traffic situation. So a vehicle is driving in front of us and we will adapt our speed and safety distance to this vehicle. As you can see, the steering wheel is moving. I'm not doing anything. Okay, now it drives. And this car is there on purpose, yeah? Yes, yes. This is our rabbit car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just to simulate uh -huh. because no one else is driving here in this area. So it's yeah, like yeah. Mm -hmm. to show you two different concepts. So we are simulating, we are in a traffic situation. Mm -hmm. So what we do is by capturing all the information with the sensors on board, mm -hmm. we classify this information. And if it's relevant for us to drive, like for example, this vehicle in front of us, we mark it as yellow. Mm -hmm. And if it's not relevant, like these tires over there, we mark this is green. Green, yeah. Yes. And then we use this information to calculate the trajectories, mm -hmm. how to drive, how fast to drive. Oh, it seems like we are in a traffic jam. Okay. The vehicle stops. Stop. Okay, it's moving, then we can go on. Yeah. So I can drive hands off if I feel like him. I rather want to feel the steer, I can have it, help touch it without doing anything. Could drink a coffee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not? You can read a book, yeah. the newspapers. <laughs> yes. So, now we approach the crossings. We don't know what the vehicles will be doing, so we wait here a bit. It's not moving, it's an hour task. Okay. okay, this is the film team from Bosch, I think. drive a bit faster mm -hmm. it's been uh, 86 kilometers yeah. so we are not allowed to drive faster on this track yeah. but when we try when we test these vehicles on the on public roads we drive up to 120 kph mm -hmm. so we usually drive on uh, on the highway here in Germany and in uh, California we have uh, four vehicles to here in Germany in two, in two. Now we are 
out in the crossings. A lot of cars here. Brake. One there. Not doing anything. It's working. Okay. Okay. We have another one coming. Very mm -hmm. fast. Like here. And now, for example, I feel like I, I want to drive myself now. I just press the accelerator mm -hmm. and it continues. And if I decide to do other thing, right, like strapping something there, I hand back control to the vehicle mm -hmm. and now we drive. So, we go back. Perfect. Good.